everybody, and it's my pleasure to introduce our guest today, Professor Jan Derezinski from the Department of Physics of uh, Warsaw University. Uh, Professor Derezinski is a uh, big, big specialist in what is called mathematical physics. Many years ago, I attended his uh, classes of uh, functional analysis, which gave me a very good and solid, solid background in this. Uh, uh, not easy and not popular, not popular topic. Uh, he is also working on uh, quantum fields on uh, curved space, space time. So we have here an interesting uh, meeting point between our two communities, the, the quantum and the relativity field. And we will hear today the talk on the famous propagator on curved space time. The ground is yours. Yeah. Shall I jump the mic? Yeah. Sounds yeah. better. More, more. Thank you. Thank you for the introduction and for the invitation. Uh, I'm very happy to, uh, to be here. Uh, so I, I I will talk about uh, with us uh, obtained with in collaboration with uh, my postdoc Christian Gas. Uh, so. so um, but on many first space times, one can define. Uh, several uh, different green functions of the Klein Gordon uh, equation. And uh, so uh, the, the, the best known is the forward propagator and the backward propagator. So these are uh, objects which are well known uh, to mathematicians, not only to physicists. Now, uh, most physicists, uh, most mathematicians do not uh, know about the Feynman propagator and also the, the anti-Feynman propagator, but, but they are uh, uh, very important in quantum field theory, and they, they will be actually the main topic of my um, uh, talk. Uh, uh, now, uh, uh, my, my talk will consist of several um, Parts. The first part will be very basic, uh, so so the, the, this will be uh, essentially a textbook material. Although I'm not sure whether these textbooks are still used uh, uh, in classes. <laughs> uh, actually, I, I I think they are not. But uh, but anyway, uh, so so maybe the old. Uh, I mean, okay. Let, let's see. Uh, so. Uh, Consider the Klein Gordon equation on the flat Minkowski space. So, so my main topic will be the third space time, but, but let's start from the flat Minkowski space. And so, this is the, uh, the usual uh, relativistic equation for the um, spin, for a spinless particle. Uh, now, uh, m squared is, is uh, the square of the mass. Uh, it can be zero, it can be negative, actually. But okay. Uh, now, uh, a green uh, I will use the following terminology. A green function of this equation is a, a, a function which depends on two variables, such that when you apply this Klein Gordon operator, you get the delta function. Uh, actually, uh, the, uh, similarly, if you put y here. So, so this is, I, I guess, this is the usual. Uh, uh, definition of a Green's function of an equation. Now, uh, 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 there are more Green functions of uh, the. So, so, so uh, if you have an elliptic equation, you have uh, typically just one Green function. Or, uh, but uh, this is not uh, an analytic equation, and uh, you have many Green functions, uh, but four of them. Are uh, distinguished. They are uh, um, invariant with respect to the Poincaré group, and they are in in every uh, old-fashioned textbook on quantum field theory. So, so first uh, there there is the forward and backward propagator, which describes uh, the propagation to the future and to the past. So uh, they can be defined uh, in the momentum space by an appropriate prescription how to bypass the 
the singularities uh, of the uh, denominator. And here, here it is this, uh, the, um, the, 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 uh, and the, um, these propagators have have a support in the future cone or in the past cone. So, so they are they are coda. Uh, besides, there are uh, uh, there is the final propagator and uh, the anti Feynman propagator. Uh, so, so they are defined by a different prescription of bypassing. So, uh, so I, uh, I remember when I was a student, I was kind of amazed. How, uh, that there are in in old fashioned textbooks there are pictures how you bypass the singularities like this, like this, like this, and uh, which I did not understand at that, that time. Uh, uh, now, uh, th these uh, propagators satisfy the, this identity. So the sum of the Feynman and anti-Feynman is equal to the sum of forward and backward. This is almost obvious from 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 these formulas, and the, 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 this identity uh, will play a role later. So what was the difference you know, between? Yeah, so so here, uh, so so uh, so so uh, the, uh, the 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 inverse of so p, p squared is the relativistic, is the Lorentzian square of p. Uh, so so this has a zero. The, 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 this is this uh, denominator is zero uh, on on the hyperbolas. So. Uh, you have to uh, make a prescription how how to bypass the singularity because otherwise this is not a well-defined distribution. I mean these are distributions; these are not usual functions. So uh, so uh, one can bypass them. Uh, uh, you you add i zero when, when you bypass it from above or from below, and here uh, this depends whether you are in the future or in the past. Or, uh, so, so there are four Lorentz invariant prescriptions. Okay. Um, sorry, can I ask? Uh, like this original formula for the green function, I guess, gives some like affines subspace in the space of distributions. Is it, um, is it understood what are like all the solutions? Because you gave us just four. I think I can take convex computations of them. It will be also affine. Good, good question. I, I, uh, I mean, I, I mean, this is a probably a subject for an after thesis. I mean, I, mean, I, I don't know. Uh, of course, there are many more. These are uh, these are invariant with respect to the restricted Lorentz proof. So, I, I think there are not more than than those. Uh, so those would be extremal forms of the water. Of the because yeah. I can take convex combination and it would be also. Uh, well, you can take any con uh, yeah. any combination. I mean, yes. So, so, so but uh, that's that's a good mathematical question. Yeah. So, but can I? If it's also a physical or historical origin, because uh, it turned out that Feynman background in propagators resulted in what we studied with John Wheeler at MIT. When they try to combine uh, classical propagators in such a way, this causal propagators in such a way that that would remove the infinity uh, problem in the radiation of uh, the radiation, electromagnetic radiation from the point particle or something like that. And that they, they fail, of course, but uh, that's a good question. You may combine them, right? There's no God given prescription which one you have to take. Except that you have a certain broader view. Well, uh, well, I mean, the, 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 there are reasons why the Feynman propagator is uh, uh, is useful in quantum field theory. Uh, I mean, so so let me uh, so from these propagators by uh, subtraction you get solutions of the Klein Goldman equation, and some of them are uh, important uh, for applications. So the difference. Of the forward and backward uh, is sometimes called the uh, the Pauli-Jordan propagator, 
or the commutator function. And this this is causal and this is really very useful. Uh, but you, you have also the uh, positive frequency two, two point function. And then, uh, so so they, they describe two point functions of states, which is probably uh, on one of the next uh, slides. But now let me make some uh, seemingly abstract remarks. But uh, uh, now uh, the Klein Gordon operator, I mean, it can be viewed as an operator on functions on the phase space, on, on the space time. Uh, it is uh, essentially self adjoint on uh, compactly supported smooth functions. Um, so, uh, I mean, this is a trivial fact uh, because it's uh, just a multiplication uh, uh, in the momentum uh, representation. And uh, besides, uh, if you take its resolvent, uh, then uh, in an uh, if you take its resolvent kernel, uh, then uh, uh, the resolvent on, uh, and if you go to the zero from above or from below, then you get the Feynman and anti Feynman propagator. This is, this is again a trivial uh, remark. Um, now, after quantization, so, so I mean, uh, uh, if you quantize fields, uh, then we obtain uh, uh, fields uh, which I, I'm using the, uh, the ch so called charged or complex formalism. Uh, the fields satisfy the Klein Gordon equation. Uh, and now all these functions have a physical meaning. Uh, the Pauli Jordan propagator is responsible for the commutator, hence the name commutator function. The uh, positive and negative frequency functions are responsible for the two point uh, uh, functions. And the final and anti final propagator are responsible for time order two point functions. So, so that's, that's what. Uh, I guess uh, in, the, in the past, the students would learn in a quantum field theory course. Um, uh, now, now I think there is not, not uh, enough. I mean, one has to go faster. So, uh, now, are there any questions? I mean, now uh, I'm entering curve space times. So, um, now uh, but, but you have not stressed. I mean, we learned it together, and then there was this nice story about separating about positive energies and negative energies and having the final propagator, like having an interpretation of propagating positive frequency forward and negative frequency backward. That will not be of use to you because you it, 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 it is of use, and it is, uh, but I, I have very little time here. So, so, so th this is actually, the, I, maybe the, this will be mentioned. Yeah, but th this is, of course, this is relevant. Uh, now, uh, consider uh, consider a curved space time with uh, metric tensor G mu nu, and uh, uh, consider the, the Klein Gordon operator. Actually, uh, this uh, this mass can uh, depend on on the, the on the position of uh, and time. So uh, so this. Uh, now the question is how to generalize the propagators from, from the flat space to a generic space time. Now uh, it would be very helpful for people who are not trained in this field to write down the explicit functions. These are Bessel functions, not just some symbols, but they can be interpreted very easily if one has the formula for these green functions. Good point. Uh, well, I am sorry. I, I, I will have actually such such formulas for the the theta space, but not for the. <laughs> yeah, I mean that the, the, this is actually a, a good point. But uh, well, I don't have a slide with it. So uh, uh, now uh, assume that the uh, space time is uh, is well behaved. So so the, in in a rigorous terms, it, it is. Globally hyperbolic. I don't want to, uh, uh, to, to give a precise definition. It essentially means that there is a time that flows. 
that there are no uh, no time uh, no loops i mean that's uh, that's a good space time without boundaries also the terminology used in elementary particle physics and field theory is quite different first of all the metric is plus minus 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 and this has a good meaning in elementary particle physics because uh, p squared should be positive not negative yeah so uh, so i'm i'm using the convention uh, the, the convention mostly pluses so so the the, 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 there are various conventions here, and I'm using the convention, the, uh, the general relativity convention. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, now, uh, so, so on a globally hyperbolic uh, space time, uh, there exists a, a, an obvious and unique uh, version of a forward and backward propagation. Mm -hmm. So, so this, this is well known. This uh, there are many books, um, and one, this is something that mathematicians know because they are uh, they they understand that the Cauchy problem for the uh, well for, for electrodynamics is, is or or even uh, classical theory is important, and so so they uh, so everybody knows this now, uh, and uh, and they have they have a. Uh, Cotal support, so so they are uh, supported only uh, in the forward column. Uh, uh, now, what about the final property? Now, th this is much less uh, clear. So let's propose one generalization, uh, which uh, so so the, the first fact is that the Dalambesian is obviously Hermitian. On uh, fun functions on the space time, in the su uh, sense of the Hilbert space L squared of of uh, with uh, with the natural uh, density. Now, this is not a sp uh, space of quantum mechanical system. This is some mathematical object. But uh, but now assume that it is self essentially self adjoint Then one can def define its resolvent. Um, at least if mass squared is com uh, is complex, non real. Um, uh, now, uh, then one can take the limit as uh, epsilon goes to zero from above and from, uh, from below. Well, suppose this limit exists. Uh, then uh, one can define something which I call the operator theoretic uh, Feynman propagator and anti Feynman propagator by, by these limits. So this sounds very abstract, very mathematical, but this is actually uh, quite reason reasonable. Now, note uh, that uh, the, here there is uh, an easy fact about Fresnel integrals. So, so, so suppose that x is a, a just a real variable, one-dimensional, then you can easily check the following identity. So you see that uh, that uh, here you have. Uh, this c plus i zero or minus i zero. Uh, now suppose you use the formalism of path integrals, which is uh, for good reason uh, the a favorite uh, uh, formalism uh, among physicists. Uh, so so here I, uh, I I wrote the formal formula uh, for the uh, generating functions so of J's are uh, the so-called sources. Uh, now, of course, this is uh, uh, somewhat uh, fishy uh, in general, but if the action is quadratic, which is very important, I mean, I mean which is the starting point of, uh, of, of every analysis, uh, then it is actually not fishy. Then, if, then it is reasonable to define the value of this uh, by this formula, where this is this Feynman propagator, which I defined here, and uh, so 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 if you just uh, generalize the, the, this formula for Fresnel integrals to any dimension, infinite, I mean, dimension, that uh, that that's uh, that's reasonable. Uh, so uh, so the, the, this is my first proposal for for a Feynman propagator. Uh, now. 
then there is a question of essential self-regardness of the Galambersia. Uh, the, uh, the, this is sometimes easy. Uh, so if you have, uh, I mean, I mean, you you probably know that uh, in uh, it it is. Uh, it is often easy to check that an operator is Hermitian or symmetric, but proving that it is uh, that it extends uniquely to a self adjoint operator, which is what we need uh, in most cases, is that uh, is sometimes a difficult mathematical problem, and here uh, it can be really difficult. Uh, so it is easy if the space time is uh, stationary, it is quite easy if it is uh, a Friedman space time or. Um, if, if it is a Decita space time or anti Decita uh, space time, this is not so easy, but still doable. Uh, now, uh, recently, uh, on asymptotically Minkowskian space time, uh, essential self adjoinness was proven by some mathematicians, I mean, by strong mathematicians. And I, actually, uh, so at least Baji, uh, he, he he was interested after a conversation with me. So, so, so this, and this was quite recent, I don't know, five years ago. Uh, uh, now, okay, so, so this is one proposal. Now, let's, let's try a different one. Uh, uh, now, the, uh, suppose you have a quantum field on a curved space line. Now, this is not, uh, uh, it is quite clear how to define uh, an algebra of quantum fields. I, I, I'm not going to to, uh, to discuss this, but uh, I mean, let me just say that these fields should uh, should uh, the commutator should uh, should be given by the Pauli-Jordan propagator, which uh, which is the difference of the forward and backward propagator, which is well defined. No, no problem. Now, suppose you have a Fock vacuum. Uh, Fock vacuum, I mean, uh, in other words, a pure quasi free state. There are many, uh, the, I mean, the terminology is quite. Uh, uh, then, uh, then you can define the final propagator as the, um, as the uh, expectation value in this uh, state of time ordered. Uh, fields and so so now the, this uh, propagator has a subs subscript alpha uh, because it depends on the choice of the vacuum. So there are many uh, many final propagators um, and by the way they will satisfy this uh, mysterious identity. So the sum of Feynman and anti Feynman is the sum of uh, forward and backward. And uh, um, that, that is a, uh, there are many Fox state, uh, Fox states, but uh, um, well, the, there is a consensus that uh, good physical states should should be should satisfy certain special properties. I, I don't have time to discuss them, so they they are called Hadama. If the singularities. Are similar to those on the Minkowski space. This has a precise and rather complicated definition. I don't know. But um, now, but this is not the end. Now, it uh, you will see that uh, uh, it is uh, useful to extend the above definition to pairs of vacua. So suppose you have. Two vacua. One will be will sit on the right, the other on the left, and then then you you can take the uh, two point functions, uh, both uh, usual two point functions and time order two point functions between uh, uh, one uh, between the alpha vacuum and the beta vacuum. What is the reason for multiple vacua? Well, uh, you will see that the, the, this is actually one of the main points, uh, and it, it is not something that I just invented. I mean, it's, uh, it's essentially uh, most things here go back to, uh, anyway. They're not, they're not orthogonal. Uh, 
that's actually a good point. They may be orthogonal, and then then this is zero over zero, and this is actually quite common. But uh, you you can uh, in in fact you can define this in a cleaner uh, operator uh, in a different way. Uh, so you can renormalize this so 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 this is a formal uh, definition. But uh, uh, but sometimes uh, they are orthogonal. I mean they they may define uh, how to say uh, in equivalent representations. And they satisfy uh, some identities. Let me. Uh, uh, so, uh, the, uh, so, so in particular, uh, the Feynman propagator, this two vacua Feynman propagator, is a Green's function of the time order operator. So, so here, here you have this uh, uh, this um, identity. Uh, okay. Now, suppose that the klein gordon equation is stationary. Stationary means that nothing, uh, that uh, things don't uh, depend, so metric or mass, they don't depend on time. So you can, you can introduce the, the time variable and the, uh, um, everything, uh, the metric depends only on the spatial coordinates. And uh, another uh, assumption is stability. The, the classical Hamiltonian should be positive. This is, a, uh, this is in the usual setting, this is equivalent to saying that the mass, mass squared is, uh, is uh, positive or at least, uh, well, it can be also zero, but it cannot, so tachyons are um, ruled out. Okay. Which, which is the usual, uh, physical case. Then there is a, then one uh, there is a distinguished vacuum given by the space of positive frequency modes uh, of the generator of dynamics. So so th this this is again well known. I think mean, since I don't know 70s, 60s. Uh, so um, so in a, in the, in this situation we know how to choose the state. Um, and then it is uh, easy to relatively easy to to check that the the operator theoretic Feynman propagator, which was the, defined in this uh, abstract way, co coincides with uh, with the, the usual naive uh, um, with the usual definition given by by quantum field theory. So the, the, it is the expectation value of time ordered functions. Um, now, uh, suppose that uh, that our space time is more generic. Well, more generic. So, so for instance, there is some region where the uh, where it is cut, but asymptotically it is flat. Don't ask me how to prepare an experiment with such space uh, times. Mm -hmm. And may, maybe cosmologists are inter not interested. But this is what what I can do mathematically. So, uh, so the assumption is that the space time, perhaps it is curved, but it is uh, uh, it is stationary and stable uh, in the future and in the past. Then uh, you have two natural states: uh, the incoming vacuum, which I will denote omega minus, and the outgoing vacuum. So, in vacuum and outgoing vacuum. So, so this is, I mean, uh, you, you ask why bother with two states. Now here, you really have two states and, uh, and if you compute the S matrix, which is what you want to do most probably, I mean, the, this is what, what is, uh, what is uh, one of the most important outcomes of, uh, um, of the quantum field theory, then you probably want to describe your in uh, your incoming states as um, uh, well, uh, using the in vacuum, and the uh, on the other side you you put uh, the out vacuum and maybe some excitations of uh, over the out vacuum. So so this is, this is a reasonable setting, and then uh, when you use the big theorem. 
uh, then you you can uh, maybe you have some interaction. It can be uh, any interaction. No, uh, it doesn't have to be a quadratic. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, then uh, you use the big theorem. You get Feynman diagrams, uh, the sum of Feynman diagrams, and on uh, on the lines of in these diagrams you should put the Feynman the this propagator. So so this is the out in propagator. So so in uh, you put on the right, uh, out on the left, and then you divide by by this overlap. So th this this is, and uh, and then you can compute uh, all, all diagrams. Uh, so 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 this is uh, this is actually the uh, the, the physical diagram, uh, the physical final propagator in this setting. Yes, but. In the flat space time, you can prove that you obtain unitary theory, right? That it makes sense. So what about the question of unitarity in curved space time? Uh, well, uh, certainly, if this is a stationary space time, there's no issue with okay. unitarity. You also, okay. uh, yes. Uh, the, 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 now, if it is not uh, stationary, then uh, then. Um, then at, at least uh, the, the the S matrix can be defined as a unitary operator. So so it's uh, I mean I'm talking about quadratic theories. Uh, that, of course, if you add any interaction, you mean quadratic in, in the psi? Yes, in psi. Yes. Yeah. So uh, so no, no, I mean it's the, 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 this this is the reasonable setting. Um, now uh, it turns out uh, that under these conditions, so if you have asymptotically stationary stable space time, then the operator theoretic Feynman propagator coincides with this uh, out in uh, Feynman propagator from this, this slide. So so that's uh, the, the two definitions uh, match. Uh, this is uh, uh, well. Uh, again, uh, uh, there are rigorous proofs of that. Uh, uh, what we did with uh, Daniel Simpson uh, was a heuristic argument, but uh, quite convincing. I mean, the, the, the difficult thing is to, to prove that uh, that Van Golden operator is uh, is self-adjoint, uh, but uh, that's that's a mathematical uh, exercise. And the anti-Feynman propagator is also. Uh, the uh, the in out. So here uh, I I have a, a terminological problem. So uh, plus uh, uh, out in. Uh, I mean in is in the past and out is in the future. So 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 it's actually not clear how to uh, call this. But uh, so uh, yeah. Uh, now let me introduce a definition. Uh, so. As, as you, rem you remember that there was uh, this uh, identity which I like in the uh, in the Minkowski case. Now uh, I will say that uh, the Klein and Gordon operator is special if if this identity holds. This is uh, well, uh, special is just uh, a word. You know, so I, we, we we didn't know how to uh, call it in a more intelligent way. Now, uh, and in, in, uh, an equivalent definition is that the uh, support of um, the sum of Feynman and anti-Feynman propagator uh, is called uh, in, in the uh, has, uh, is in the, uh, the columns. Now, uh, if you have a special Klein Gordon equation, then this is very, very nice uh, because then uh, from the operator here, the theoretic propagators by putting the penny side functions, you get the forward and backward propagators. So, so you you get uh, the formulas easily, and also you have uh, two point functions. So, so th th this is this this computation is nice. Now, if uh, if the in state and out state coincide, which is rare. Uh, then, uh, then uh, you have this this special property. Uh, so, in particular, if you have a stationary and stable space time, uh, then uh, then you have uh, uh, then you have this special property. But if if it is not 
uh, if it is not stationary, then you will see that it may happen that uh, that you have this property, but it is uh, it is rare. Okay, uh, end of uh, part two. Any questions? But what you uh, what you just presented, or can you say that uh, in in the under this restriction of stationary uh, curve space, can you say that everything looks like in the Minkowski space? Uh, but all the manipulation looks the same. Yeah, well, that they they are they they are small perturbations, that, but but still they they are not exactly the same. Uh, so in particular, you have to divide by. Uh, I mean, so so there is there is you have to distinguish. There are two different states. So so not exactly like that. And as uh, uh, and sometimes you divide zero by zero. So so uh, let me just say that there, there is a better definition of the finite propagator, which is kind of more mathematical, which I don't have on my slides, but uh, which. Uh, so, so this is this is a, a good concept. Uh, uh, I mean, there, there is an operator theoretic definition. Now, examples of space times and their propagators. Uh, uh, now, uh, as I mentioned, stationary uh, stationary stable Klein Gordon equations are special, uh, and that is. Pardon, would you please recall the definition of special? No. Yeah, okay. so I mean, that, that, okay. that's a, that's a, that's a special identity among the propagators. All of, now, now note that all of them are defined uh, on uh, on a on a space uh, sp space time satisfying some some rather generic property. Uh, uh, now, so so in particular, on Minkowski space, uh, but. Uh, for tachyonic stationary Klein Gordon equations, uh, we can also define all the four propagators, and uh, however, they are not special. So, for I mean, tachyons, they, they are fashionable recently, yeah. but any, anyway, uh, there is no in state, no out state. Uh, that, and and I, I don't want to, to discuss their uh, physic, uh, physicality. Now consider uh, one uh, plus zero dimensional space time. So, so it's only time. <laughs> uh, then uh, the, the claim of the of, so uh, let, let's assume that mass can be depend on time. Uh, so then you essentially get the one dimensional shredding the rock. Uh, and uh, of, of course, this is very well studied. Uh, then uh, you, you get speciality even only if uh, this uh, of uh, this uh, Schrodinger operator is reflectionless at the energy m squared. Uh, I mean, reflectionless means that the SM matrix uh, uh, is, uh, is is just a, uh, a phase factor, and you don't have a reflected wave. Uh, now, uh, as it is well known, there exists reflectionless uh, Schrodinger operators. And one of the most famous ones is uh, what is sometimes called a symmetric scarf Hamiltonian. So the uh, the uh, potential should be one over cosh square, and this uh, coefficient should be a half, half integer. So this is one of standard uh, problems in. Uh, uh, I mean, I think uh, in quantum mechanics, if you teach quantum mechanics, then uh, this is. Why do you call uh, it Schrodinger? Schrodinger's first order in time derivative. Well, uh, okay. Uh, what, what other, I mean, a Schre uh, Sch Schrodinger operator to me is the Laplacian plus the potential. Uh, and here, the, this is the one dimensional Laplacian. Uh, and yeah, so, so that's. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, how would you call it? Uh, now, now let's let's move to a more heavy uh, example, which is the the sitter space. So the uh, the, the sitter space uh, is uh, defined as the submanifold of 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 the d plus one dimensional Minkowski ambient space. 
So you take uh, the hyperbolarity uh, um, uh, and uh, now the, the, this is a maximally symmetric uh, uh, pseudo Riemannian space. So you can you can compute things and uh, uh, actually uh, mathematicians uh, told me that uh, that on on symmetric spaces invariant differential operators are always essentially self-adjoint and so so here uh, um, it is the case uh, so so you can uh, find explicitly uh, the formula for for the, the Feynman and anti-Feynman propagator so uh, uh, professor Vyaminitsky uh, Birula wanted to have uh, uh, expressions in terms of special functions now here is that is one uh, so uh, S is uh, is one of Gegenbauer functions. Um, uh, so so the uh, in the flat case it would be the McDonald function instead. And so W is uh, is a parameter uh, which uh, so so it is the product of the vectors in the ambient space. So it is essentially uh, yeah uh, it, it, it is not the, the distance between two points but some function of this distance. Uh, but anyway, uh, uh, so so, so th this is something we, we, which you obtain assuming that uh, the singularities are uh, similar to the Minkowskian case. So you get uh, the uh, the Hardamard condition, um, and um, uh, the uh, it satisfies the the special property. Uh, and you, uh, from this you uh, this propagator you can get the uh, state uh, the, uh, in the literature it is called the Euclidean state I mean it, it's a, it's not a good name but anyway this is uh, sometimes it is uh, there are some other names punch Davis but the, the, the terminology as it is uh, often is, is quite messy uh, so it is the unique uh, the sitter invariant Hadamard state. Um, now, uh, as, 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 as I said, the Galambertian is essentially self adjoint, so one can define also the operator the theoretic Feynman and anti Feynman propagator, which, as you remember, was obtained from the resolvent of the Galambertian. Now, a funny thing which actually uh, surprised me and uh, my colleagues. Uh, very much was that this operator theoretic uh, Feynman propagator is completely different. So, 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 uh, so here the physical uh, uh, propagator is the this Euclidean, and the, the the operator theoretic which you obtain from the resolvent is uh, well. Uh, in particular, now note that the, the sitter space time is uh, quite pathological. It is not. Uh, uh, it is not asymptotically stationary. It blows up exponentially uh, to, to the future and to, to the past. So, uh, uh, and the Euclidean state is neither the in state nor the out state. So, so that's um, uh, now uh, uh, in the literature you can find uh, many papers about the sitter spaces. And in particular, one uh, can uh, uh, one can determine um, uh, all the sitter invariant states, uh, the so-called alpha vacua. Uh, and now, uh, among these, uh, so I mean, I don't want to uh, discuss this in detail, but among these alpha vacua, one can find the in state and the out state. So, so this in this state. Uh, um, and uh, uh, it, it turns out that the out in propagator coincides with the operator theoretic Feynman propagator. And well, here are uh, formulas in terms of special functions. So Z is some other Gegenbauer function, which, uh, yeah. Uh, now, uh, so, so, so you, you remember there was an identity that the operator theoretic Feynman is equal to out in. So this is satisfied here. Uh, now, what is 
uh, even more funny is that in other dimensions, uh, 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 the, the center space is special. So the in vacuum and out vacuum are the same. Now, in even dimensions, uh, in particular the one uh, in which we live, uh, uh, the out and in vacuum are different. Um, and uh, now, one can see this quite easily when one uh, uh, uses a, a different uh, um, coordinates. And so the, these are the so called global coordinates. Uh, then, by some reduction, uh, one can re reduce the uh, the Klein Gordon uh, operator to a one dimensional Schrodinger operator with one over cosh squared uh, potential. So, which we uh, have already seen. Uh, and uh, the, the spectrum, uh, so the spectrum, so uh, everything can be solved here. And in particular, uh, if the uh, dimension uh, is odd, uh, then then here you get uh, a half integer square, and and uh, indeed uh, you go back to, to your your reflectionless potential. Uh, so yeah, so so you get this, and uh, this is reflectionless. This is not the case in uh, so so um, in. Of dimensions, all modes are reflectionless. In even dimensions, all modes are not reflectionless. Okay. Now th this will be this uh, the last example. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, I, I was asked to be non-technical. Maybe I am slightly technical, but I think this is. Uh, I mean, the, the interest uh, should uh, outweigh the. Uh, uh, so, so the the entire sitter space uh, is another uh, maximally symmetric uh, Lorentzian space time. Uh, so here uh, you put uh, you you start from uh, from uh, an ambient space which has two negative uh, uh, two, two, the signature is two minuses and the rest are pluses. And then you take an appropriate hyperboloid. Now, this uh, space, uh, uh, unfortunately, it has uh, time like loops. But this is not a real issue uh, because you can uh, uh, you can take the universal covering, and then there are no loops. And uh, so you get a stationary uh, Lorentzian uh, space time. Uh, where, where uh, so so t you assume that this is time that flows uh, forever. Uh, the Talambersian is essentially self-adjoint, and again you can compute the Feynman propagator by the usual prescription. Uh, so he, he did, uh, the the formula is quite uh, quite interesting because uh, I mean this uh, this uh, anti-Gesita uh, space time it has many epochs because you. Uh, when you uh, take the covering, uh, things repeat forever. So, so this is uh, reflected in this uh, um, uh, minus one to the nth power. Anyway, in order to understand uh, this uh, uh, situation, so so the, the, you have Feynman and anti-Feynman propagator just uh, with, without an issue. Now, what about forward and backward propagator? There will, this will be more problematic. Now, before we uh, discuss it, let's uh, discuss again a one dimensional Schrodinger operator, which uh, this time is on a uh, uh, finite interval. Uh, so, this is sometimes called the tri trigonometric Peschel Teller Hamiltonian. So, again, so this name, Peschel Teller. Uh, they, uh, this comes from the 30s, uh, from early quantum mechanics. A again, a, a typical problem in a quantum mechanics class. Uh, now, uh, this is also a, a rather um, a good uh, exercise for uh, operator theory. For, uh, so one can check when it is essentially self adjoint. And uh, it turns out that it is essentially self agent is alpha squared is at least one and beta squared is at least one. 
uh, it is not uh, uh, now if alpha squared is positive and beta squared is positive, then it uh, it has positive uh, extensions in particular the so-called previous extension. So so in this case it is still okay even though it is not uh, essentially not the joint. If uh, alpha squared or beta squared are negative, then this is essentially non-physical. Uh, then you you don't have a positive re realization, so so there will be always a bound states going to minus infinity. So so this is uh, now let's uh, let's look uh, at the klein dot on uh, operator on anti-density uh, space uh, space time. So after some massaging, uh, you you essentially get. Uh, so you get a, a factor. Now uh, note that uh, so so rho is kind of the uh, the spatial variable. The key is time, and this this is uh, this uh, is zero. So uh, cos is uh, this is zero for uh, rho equal to uh, to what? Well, pi over two probably yes. And uh, here here you have this uh, partial color Hamilton. Uh, now, uh, the anti desita uh, space time is not globally hyperbolic. And so the problem is that it has trajectories which escape to infinity uh, in finite time. So, so you, uh, I mean, it's, it's boundary, spatial boundary uh, is, uh, is not nice. And this will be reflect. Uh, so, so on the classical uh, level, it's, it's, a, it's, uh, it's not a good. Uh, um, space time. However, on the quantum level, this, uh, at, at least if the mass is big enough, then you don't see this problem because you have uh, essential self adjointness and even positivity of, of this uh, uh, Hamiltonian. And you can define, you can define the forward and backward uh, propagator with, without a uh, uh, I mean, I, I'm not giving here formulas, but everything works well. Uh, if uh, uh, th there is a region uh, when the, for m squared, uh, uh, which are negative, I mean, but not not too negative, you still it's still okay if you take um, uh, Friedrich's extension, and and then uh, the special property works. Now, if mass squared is very negative, which, uh, which is this condition, uh, then then you, you you don't have a, a distinguished uh, a forward and backward propagator. So you, well, of course you can say who cares about about uh, the, such negative masses, but on the flat Minkowski space, there was no no such an issue at all. So so the, so anti theta still is worse, uh, and. Uh, uh, yeah, so so uh, I, I think that uh, from what I said, you you can see all kinds of phenomena, not necessarily very physical, but but still uh, still motivated by by physics, which uh, which appear when you try to uh, to treat uh, quantum theory on a curved space time in a, in a serious way. And uh, uh, yeah, and uh, this is uh, all that I wanted to say. Thank you. I am disappointed yeah. that you stopped where things became interesting. What is, for example, the S matrix? What is the scattering of a simple one particle in this case? Uh, okay, so maybe maybe let's open uh, let's open the the question and the discussion session. And as already Professor Białynski Birula started, yeah. there we go. Yes, so in order to define as an S matrix, you, you should uh, add uh, a perturbation. So, uh, so that's, uh, 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 I mean, the, so for instance, in this uh, last case, uh, the S matrix uh, will be one uh, in, without perturbation, but if you add a perturbation, let it be a quadratic perturbation for simplicity. Then, uh, then I, uh, th there is a, a well-defined uh, algorithm uh, involving Feynman diagrams. Mm -hmm. 
how to compute uh, the rest metric. So, uh, so that's so. So I'm 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 talking. I, my talk is about the preparation for computing the rest metric. Okay. So maybe maybe more question, Professor Joseph. I will not touch something as interesting as QED in kind of space, but even for the scalar, uh, is what you have presented here helpful in setting something like five to the fourth theory in, in the curve space? Well, well, in principle, uh, in principle, I mean, perturbatively, uh, it is clear how to proceed. Yes, so, so, so perturbatively, yes. I mean, uh, uh, and the, I mean, I, I should be modest. I mean, essentially everything is uh, here, what I presented can be found in some messy way in the literature. So, so that, 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 that this is not, uh, yeah, but the answer is yes. And with QD? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, yes, I mean, the, the, the same. I mean, well, of course, the, uh, there are the usual problems with uh, Dirac equation. Well, the Dirac equation, I mean, the story about the Dirac equation would be essentially the same. Mm -hmm. The story about vector bottom, uh, vector bottoms uh, would need uh, some, uh, I mean, there the, the are the negative, I mean, you, you should. Uh, I mean, if you proceed naively, you get Gupta Bloidler, and so you have to remove uh, remove uh, ne negative uh, states. Uh, uh, I, I think, uh, well, in, uh, to my understanding, this will work as, just as well. Okay. Okay, um, go ahead. Uh, I have a simple question. In the classical space, you can always rely on Fourier transform to simplify a lot of uh, a lot of calculations. Uh, do you have the counterparts of that in this Seeger, the Seeger, and the Seeger space? Then we have some kind of the composition cycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so th th there is a, I felt it is more uh, sophisticated, but. Uh, and this is really useful here? I think so. But, uh, well, uh, actually, that's what. Uh, uh, so, so the, uh, let me say this: uh, if, if you have uh, if you have a, a formula like this, so so here, is, so, so suppose you have a stationary situation, uh, then then it is actually quite easy because you have the time uh, second time derivative plus uh, a certain um, uh, Certain operator on the uh, spatial slice, and uh, so you know that it is self adjacent mm -hmm. and uh, then proceeding abstractly, you, you don't have to, uh, to to write down. Uh, I mean, uh, to, to use Fourier transformation to diagonalize it. Uh, it's it's this is a self adjacent operator, and you just work. Mm -hmm. So so uh, if you have a stationary space time. No, no problems. If you have a Friedman, uh, Friedman, Robertson, Walker, and somebody, uh, Lemaitre, uh, which was probably here, uh, then, 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 no problem. I mean, you you, you don't have to, to use for your transformation to you you can work with an abstract operator. Uh, Victor. I I believe that he promised to explain what the different uh, buttons and how they can be non-orthogonal. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, you have uh, if you have a time-dependent uh, Hamiltonian, mm -hmm. uh, which you will, so so if okay, if if you have a stationary sta uh, space-time, the the in vacuum and the out vacuum are the same. Mm -hmm. If uh, if it is non stationary, uh, non -stationary uh, then at least on the formal level we have a Hamiltonian, but it depends on time. Then uh, then it's uh, so it's time dependent. Well, no, no. Well, uh, the, the the vacuum is. Uh, I, mean, I I always assume that there is some kind of convergence. Uh, uh, 
in the future and in the past. So, so the the vacuum is not time dependent. It is it is it are the uh, it is the limit of the uh, it, it is obtained by the asymptotic uh, condition. As t goes to minus, as t goes to plus. Yes, yes, but but there is no reason why they should be the same because yes. the Hamiltonian depends on time. So so uh, and in reality they they can belong to uh, non-equivalent representations, so they can be uh, orthogonal. Okay. Uh more questions maybe from the online audience if not then i have uh, i have two uh, one is perhaps naive so how does it all uh, work in, in in like physically important space time steps worship or her uh, uh, newman well, uh, or, uh, or perhaps it was somewhere covered by but yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it, so, so, uh, I mean, uh, by physically important, you mean uh, those space times which are solutions to the Einstein equation. Yes, yes. Now, uh, I mean, what I was speaking has nothing to do with the Einstein equation. So, and these space times that you mentioned are actually quite complicated because uh, they they have. Uh, uh, often they are not globally hyperbolic, so 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 you have uh, some uh, I don't horizons and I don't know what. So uh, uh, so the, I mean uh, the, 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 uh, you have to extend uh, them to. Uh, so so my short question and uh, the short answer is that I don't know and probably it's, I mean th this is a messy problem. In fact. Uh, if you consider the Schwarz shield uh, space time, then uh, physicists uh, invented several kinds of states. Uh, some of them are more natural mathematically, some of them are more natural uh, physically. Uh, uh, I don't think this uh, this uh, directly applies. Oh, okay, so it is. It yeah, is yeah, like but, it, but it, it is uh, much more complicated. It is. Uh, and uh, but if you if you look at uh, at what was written about this is quite messy. So so here here I'm uh, I'm just I just want to perturb our Minkowskian space time as little as possible. Okay. And, and then <laughs> and uh, the other question is the 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 difference between the two definitions that you mentioned the operator one and and the one by by Vacua. So uh, in, in those examples, when you have both of both propagators at the hand, uh, can you somehow relate the difference between the two definitions to, to something like a curvature or, or something? Well, uh, in in in, uh, in a nice examples, they just coincide. So 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 they they give the same. The same thing. So, so uh, I, I don't know. Maybe you mentioned that the, the particles going uh, going forward and anti-particles going backward. So, so this is essentially uh, built in. Uh, in uh, so, uh, on the heuristic level, this should be always. They should always uh, um, be the same, but. Uh, but these are difficult mathematical questions to, to, to be sure that, that you have essential self that you have this. I mean, so, so I, I cannot say that this always coincides. But, but there was an example, yes. There was, there was one example where the operator, one, or maybe I misunderstood. Uh, no, the that, Euclidean and the, and the operator ones did not coincide. Uh, so uh, there was an example where the Hadamard. Uh, the Hadamard case does not coincide with the uh, oh so 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 this, just, this, so, this, this. so so this is uh, this is what is considered physical mm -hmm. and but it does not coincide with the operator theoretic which coincide with the out uh, okay. so 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 in, at least in this case which, which is uh, no, not uh, not obvious I mean yeah, but but. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, any more questions? Yes, I would like to ask a trivial question. Why do you call these propagators forward and backward? Is physical? Yeah. So, 
retarded and advanced. Yes, I mean, there are many uh, terminologies. Yes, so, so I am talking about I mean, physical literature. It's always retarded and advanced. Uh, okay, I I mean uh, there there are many many uh, kinds of physical literature. Uh, okay, uh, it, I I heard I heard a few other names as well. I mean the terminology is so messed up, uh, but I, I agree. Uh, uh, the forward is uh, synonymous to retarded, and yeah. Since you are using the name Feynman. Then Feynman used the name retarded in advance. Okay, okay. I mean, uh, I uh, uh, I can uh, I can give a whole slide with with many uh, versions of terminology. So just to make this more uh, complicated, uh, there are uh, mathematicians uh, who are uh, studying quantum field theory in recent uh, years. Uh, they uh, they call the Pauli Jordan function the uh, Hodel propagator. Uh, uh, but if you look at uh, Gokolubov Shirkov, uh, then the Feynman propagator is uh, is called the Kodal Green's function. So so you have I mean it's <coughs> the, the terminology is uh, is really messy. Yeah, but uh, thank you for this. Uh, I I prefer, if possible, to use uh, uh, physical terminology. Okay, uh, do we have one more? One more, one last thing. One last thing. Last thing. You know, at the beginning, you, you refer to books like Shukov, Bogorov, yeah, yeah. old fashioned. Yes, yes. No. Tell me if it's old fashioned, no longer of in, uh, in use. Okay, I mean, uh, this is, uh, what is the new fashion which doesn't use? As far as I know, the quantum field theory didn't move much further from from the perturbation yeah, theory. Yeah, this is a good uh, question, and uh, I I think I can answer. Mm -hmm. So uh, old fashioned. So Bogolyubov uh, Shirkov. There is an appendix. Uh, which describes all these uh, propagators uh, uh, in Bessel or McDonald functions. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, in uh, Gerten and Drell, another old fashioned book, which uh, will, uh, uh, there is also an appendix, essentially uh, an equivalent uh, uh, isomorphic appendix. Uh, now, uh, I asked uh, mm -hmm. a colleague of mine who is giving a course on quantum field theory at, uh, at Faculty of Physics, whether he introduces these propagators. The answer was no, I don't have time. I only introduce the final propagator and then I pick order it immediately to get the Euclidean propagator, which which I use later. So so this is this is how how uh, uh, such a course in modern times uh, um, only because of Euclidean yeah, I mean, you get the, the uh, in, in the Euclidean setting, everything is easier to compute. And uh, and so, in fact, I gave a course, uh, which kind of a mathematical course on quantum field theory, and I introduced all these propagators, and students complain that their uh, uh, brain uh, gets overheated from the, uh, from the multitude of... Uh, Subjects. Okay, That's why so let's finish here. Let's uh, thank the speaker again. <laughs>